from its center by taking every data value, subtracting it from the center, taking that average, I will always get that sum, that numerator to be zero. It always happens. You may not think it does, but it will. And I can demonstrate, I can prove that. You can prove that stuff, but I won't take the time to do it now. Okay? Um, it could be shown that that numerator is always zero. You know what the problem is? You guys notice? For every positive difference, there's a what? Negative difference. That's really the issue. So our task is going to be this. We're going to have to turn those negative numbers into positive numbers. And there's a few ways to do it. One is to take the absolute value. That can be done. Some people do. But the definition of standard deviation variance, the measure, what we're going to do is this. Isn't it true that if I square a number, if I square a number, OK, like, oh, I don't know, take 2 squared, isn't that 4? And then I take the square root of 4, isn't that 2? Or if I take a negative 2, square that number, which is 4, square root of 4, positive 2, you see what happened there? Didn't I convert a negative to a positive value? Squaring it, raising it to the second power, and then undoing the square by square root? We're going to try that to help us out here. So for every one of those values they got here, what are we going to do with them? Square them to make them what? Positive. See what I'm saying? So what is 0 squared? We're going to say 0 squared is 0. What is negative 15 squared? You guys know what that is? Is that 225? What is, oh, 15 squared? I know that's the same thing, 225. 0 squared, I'll tell you what that is. That's 0. What's 40 squared? 1,600. What's negative 40 squared? 1,600. You guys okay with that? So what I'm going to do now with this column is this. The consistency is going to be take all of those values and square them divide by n. Okay, let's see what we get. <coughs> what happens here? What's the sum here? This is 3,200 plus another 450. Is that right? Is that 3,650? You guys okay with that? Is that true? Anybody have any questions? Isn't that what we get when we add these values? Notice, isn't that a nice positive number now? Right? Okay. Now, there's a problem, though. Here's the deal. Let's note. Let's recall or note that if I square, take the square root of, let's say, a sum of things squared, even the square root of a sum, that is not the same as square root of a sum is actually not the same as sum of square roots. And this is what I'm doing here. I'm squaring the values, squaring them, and then I'm adding them. I'm doing this. Okay? This is not true. Because if it were true, I can say, give me the square root of 1 squared plus 3 squared. Because isn't this going to be A plus B? By this logic, we'd say, oh, that's simple. That's, that's 4. Well, we know the square root of 1 squared plus 3 squared, isn't that the square root of 10? They're not the same. So such a good idea by squaring it and undoing it by taking the square root to measure consistency is problematic. So what statisticians have done is they've modified the definition slightly using mathematics to adjust this so that, is, that it's more accurate, meaning Instead of dividing by n, you're going to divide by n minus 1. And y goes beyond the scope of the course, but it's invo it, it involves this information here. And we won't go into that detail either. So when you see this formula, this formula measures consistency. But it is known as the 
variation. The square root business that we went through and talk, talked about is this. If I take that same formula and take the square root now, this is the essence of our argument that we just started to talk about. I didn't say it, but this is where the square root part comes in, the square root of a sum. Okay, this is where this comes in. This is now known not as variance, but as what? <coughs> Standard deviation. So here's what I'm sh saying to you. These formulas differ only in the following. The standard deviation is the square root of the variance. <coughs> so if you ever compute a standard deviation, you're always finding the what first? Variance. Because the definition of standard deviation is the square root of all of this, which is the variance part. Now that's the why or you know, going from the definition of consistency, why I say they both measure, you know, standard deviation and variance both measure consistency. This is the why behind it. This, is, this argument here applies to the standard deviation. Okay, taking that square root here. So fine, this is what you're going to do. They may, I may ask you, compute for this data set the variance and the what? Standard deviation, okay? Compute it. We're almost there. The variance is, well, guess what? What is this? Isn't that the sum? The sum of what? That information? Isn't that what it is? The sum of this? Right? You already have the numerator for your variance. It's what? 3,650. What's the denominator? Who's awake? <laughs> what's, the, what's the denominator? Why is it a 5? I heard a 5. There you go. N minus 1. So what is N? The number of data. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the variance is, what's the variance here? What is it? 730? Is that true? It's a variance. Who can tell me what's the standard deviation going to be? What's the square root of 730? Approximate that to the nearest tenth. What's your standard deviation? What is that? 